Okay, just jumping in on a 10 minute game and keeping everything as usual until it becomes unusual. Let's attack through the center and as you know, we're going to grab the pawn and we're going to take the knight. I'm going to bring the bishop out again, just in case, but okay, we'll capture the bishop, no problem. Let's castle. And I'm feeling like the knight wants to come out and try. Oh, I'm just going to say, I'm trying to get to this spot here, so I may as well go with that. And the queen wants to do something. The knight wants to do something. I'm, I'm tempted to just get the knight across the other side of the board. I'm going to continue. No, I'm not, because they're just going to take the pawn here. I'm really chomping up a bit for my knight to get across there, though. Well, in the meantime, let's get the queen up. Maybe looking to come here to attack the pawn. It's castled anyway. Shall I continue? Let's continue. It's a little bit away from us, so it's um, spotted that. Okay, you can go for these cheap shots sometimes. Now, what I don't want to do is have my queen stuck there, so I'm going to bring the queen back. I'm going to bring it back. This pawn's got no protection, so they're going to be targeting that. Obviously the knight's moving because it wants to get the bishop. Yeah, so they're targeting that, so we expected that. Nothing unusual there. Then the knight's potentially moving, or oh, they're actually attacking. Now, do we take or do we bring the bishop back? I don't think there's too much trouble with the bishop hit sitting here, it's just that it is hitting this pawn, but they then can't move their pawns down because our bishop's on it. So he's going to have to do some mobilisation. So let's just uh, bring the bishop back. Do have sights of attacking. Ooh, I don't know if that was right or wrong. I mean, he's got the bishop, bishop's going to be on a higher piece. If we take, but then his knight is going to be on. We take the bishop. He goes, well, okay, you're on a high piece, which is the rook, but I'm going to take your knight. And my knight is on a higher piece, so I'm going to have to move my queen, which gives them tempo. But we do have the magic square here, putting a check on their king. But they can simply drop the pawn down. If they drop the pawn down, we can take the knight and then they can take. Does that sound doable? So we take, knight takes, get a check on the king. Well, we're assuming that yes, they are going to get a check on the king. Maybe the knight jumps back, gives us tempo to take the rook. Maybe the queen takes, we take the knight. Maybe they go with the pawn move that we said, so we can take the knight. And then the queen can take the bishop. It's protecting this pawn here. But the queen can take the pawn here if the queen takes the bishop. So the rook's obviously going to come down and attack. But then we have to check on the king so they're not taking that opportunity. So one of the rooks could come across maybe. But then it's just going to drop like this, isn't it? Okay, don't want to over. Maybe we go with this one. It's not going to make much difference, really, is it? He's going to be looking to power base on the pawn. Okay, let's just bring this rook here, attack this pawn. And the rook has come down dead quick. Could go here, attacking this pawn. Or we could come down and attack this pawn, but then this pawn just drops. But then we can go and put a check on the king. Let's go with the pawn first. Let's keep it simple. It's probably better coming down here, but somehow it looks like it's complicating the situation. Yep, so we did say they were going to do that. We could jump here, then this pawn is going to come down and attack. Oh, 
or we could just bring the rook up to protect and then get this other rook here if we need to. I'm going to keep it simple, I think. He's going to triple up with his rook. So I'm not at this moment in time, but that's going to be coming at some point. So if we get this rook here, then if he goes for the triple, maybe the queen can take the... Oh, it's coming for the queen anyway. Let's take. And shall we give it a bit of a pressure here because there's no protection. So the rook's probably coming to protect. So if the pawn takes, then we can take the rook for free. Yes, so he has done. So we could push onto the rook, but that's not going to help, I don't think. Um, hmm. It's got these two linked pawns. I mean, we suppose we can hit the head of the snake, can't we? Let's do that. And then hit this head of the snake here. It's not really great shakes for us, but... Um, could put a check on. Don't want to lose tempo. Let's just take here. It's got a check on my king. Let's just uh, put the check. Come around the back. Check. Oh, it's gone running. Block down a little bit. And, oh, it looks like he's... So this rook's protecting this pawn. So we could come and attack the pawn, and then he just comes back in line again. Don't want to waste motion. Okay, let's go with it anyway. And he just comes back. Oh, he's there even. Mm-hmm. King's not really going to be able to help because it's just going to keep getting checks on. What's this? Oh, okay. Maybe come here to attack the rook. Let's try that. Oh, he's blocking. And it's even Stevens, pawns, material, and everything. So if we go there, he's going to take because he's got a two on one. If we go here, one of the rooks takes, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes. It's going to be a massive pawn take. I think we'll be down a pawn, maybe. Yeah, maybe down a pawn. Yeah, we're down a pawn out of that. Just block it. Let's just move the king up. Be careful, he's be looking for this. So let's attack the pawn. He's still probably gonna. Okay, maybe not. Let's take. Have to be very careful. I'm so tempted to just push because if he does take, we go here. Then his rook comes down with a check on the king. We have to take. Pawn's here. King's never getting across to the other side to get the pawn. So it is very tempting to do it, but I'm just going to go here. Um, okay, so I don't know if he's coming here, then at least we can take. Or is he thinking, well, if I have to move? Okay, just move the rook. Looking to try and get my king somehow, isn't he? So, mm. oh well, if I move up, then he just comes down, puts a check on my king. Yeah, I move up, comes down, puts a check on my king. I have to move backwards. Then he can bring his king down, attacking the pawn. No, he can't because my rook's blocking him, so he'll probably push his pawn. Take, takes. Mm. Okay, there's nothing else to do. Let's just 
Bring the rook up. Well, in my head, there's nothing else to do. There probably is some fantastic magical move to make. Let's go down. Still looking for something, I don't know what. Go down. Go back up. Go down. Oh, looks like he's getting a bit annoyed, or has he resigned himself to the fact that it's a draw? I think the system's going to call it a draw, isn't it? Yep, I'll click the threefold repetition draw. No problems there. 